career is going very well for you. International career is also going well for you because you're in an Ireland team that's doing very well over the past um, sort of 15, 16 months. Yeah, exactly. It's the progression of this team has, you know, it had, it's been brilliant and everyone has, has been stepping up to the mark, like the level, even back home with the, the new Irish League has helped so much. Uh, the new strength and conditioning program that everyone is doing and everyone's just realizing now like it's it helps so much to to take care of your body to to eat the right things to you know to constantly be got like training and working on your game and it really is paying off you can see that the you know the younger girls that have come up you know are doing like brilliantly you know the likes of megan and dora and kira grant and it just you know it just shows that you know they started off young but they've gained so much experience in the past couple of years and then we just have our experienced players who know and at the moment everyone is I feel like everyone is you know almost at the top of their game they're getting ready to hit their peak soon so it's it's looking good for us so far. We're at the Cyprus Cup and um, two games into it and um, it's going well so far. Yeah, we're really happy with the with the results so far, especially since the. You know, New Zealand and South Korea are ranked 16 and 17 places above us. Um, but yeah, so like you know, we were we were almost disappointed with the with the one all draw against New Zealand because we could have won it. But that just shows the fact that we're disappointed that you know we didn't get the three points out of that game. Uh, you know, shows how you know how well we're doing and that we know that we can we can actually win these games. And. It was a you know very tough game against the really technical uh, South Korea side, but that's it. We just had we had our you know our tactics down quite well, and just everyone worked so hard for each other. It was there was a, like spells in that game where we were actually unstoppable. We were, Korea couldn't get the ball off us, and you know it was like really positive to see. And it's it just there's just such a good vibe around the around the camp because you know it's just going so well for us. Is your twenty fifth appearance for Ireland, and you, you managed to get your third goal, so that must have been nice. Yeah, it's nice as a defender to uh, to guess to get any any goals. You know, I'm usually just trying to stop them from going in. We'll do anything to to not concede a goal, but obviously, I love coming up for you know corners and obviously Megan's long throw ins. They're uh, you know just trying to get your head in them. So yeah, like delighted with with another goal. Thank God. You've been playing alongside Megan at the back for for Ireland. How is that working out? Are you happy with that? Yeah, it's it's working out really well. We have played together uh, a few times in centre back, and it's it's just never it's never been a problem. We just automatically kind of, you know, just know where we're going to be. We don't, you know, get too distant from each other on the pitch, and we're constantly talking to each other. You know, when the play maybe breaks down and we have a minute to talk, we do, we just talk things through, and then it just works. Um, that's it. It's like you know, it's the same as I suppose you can have two centre forwards that they just click when they play together you can say so far so good for myself and Megan we're just clicking and it's working for us. We're in the middle of a World Cup qualifying campaign what's your thoughts on the, on the campaign so far? Um, it's like it is so far it's it's been good with two wins and a draw obviously disappointing uh, drawing the game but hopefully you know it won't affect us as in that that happened and then the next game against Slovenia we've probably played again one of the best games that we had in in a long time and it was you know it was a full 90 minute performance it wasn't a good first half or you know maybe or like in a average second half it was a, a full 90 minutes like really good game so uh, we haven't let that affect us um, we do have tough games coming up obviously with Germany and Russia but again we're going into them very confident and Germany obviously is, is the big one coming coming up um, how do you feel about that? Like they're one of the best teams in the world. Um, is it is it a chance to see where you are at to measure yourself against the best? Um, yeah, quite like we can measure ourselves against them, but it's like you know we we, know, we just we know they're a very good team and they're um, you know very talented. But again, we just have to go in like watch some of their games, see what we can do, and again how we can impose our game on them. Like you know, will they'll be. They'll probably come gung ho at us for you know the ninety minutes, but I feel like we're we're strong enough that we can we can handle them defensively, and then it's when our you know our breaking forward has been uh, brilliant the past few games that we're getting support in numbers. So 
Um, like yeah, you know we don't we don't fear them. We we know that they're obviously the at the moment the best team in Europe, but it's football. It's ninety minutes, and a lot of things can happen in that time. You're from Blessington, um, and the road to Blessington runs past Tallaght Stadium. So uh, I suppose you're looking forward to the game being played there. Yeah, it's it's nice to you know play so close to home and. Hopefully a few people from Blessington and you know a bit of the town can come support. But yeah, I know Tala very well, know a lot of people in Tala as well. So it's um, it's yeah, it's, it's a, a nice close home game. Also close to you know P Main's pitch, so I'm very familiar with all the surroundings and it is it's a you know brilliant pitch to play on as well. So um, yeah, really looking forward to the game there.